everybody welcome back I came back to Goodwill I bought something earlier and um, I just decided to sit here and chat with you for a minute I went also to Dollar Tree haven't been to Dollar Tree for a while but I'm gonna finish my um, ice cream cone I bought a dip cone and decided did I just spit <laughs> Sorry, you guys, if I did. Anyway, I'm trying to put my iPod. It just fell just a few minutes ago. I was like, wow. Anyway, I've just been hanging out. Um, I left the house about 1230, came to Goodwill. I found a shelf. I don't want I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but um, but it was $5.99 and, um, my, what is that called? My filing cabinet, my little black one, that broke last week. The handles broke, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not even going to try to fix it. I'm not going to try to buy anything to put where the little handles were. I'm just going to get rid of it. But, um, so yeah, I bought this shelf. They have on the tag end table, but it's not an end table. It's a, it's a, it's a, a little drawer, like a, like a, um, a clothing drawer, you know, to put your clothing in. So I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking I might just give that one to my daughter and then, cause she needs one for her room. That guy by. Well, that's cool. I might have to go back in Goodwill. Anyway. <laughs> I want to put... You know what? Let's put it over here. My, my steering wheel is blocking my, my iPod, which is really crazy. But... So anyway, I came back to Goodwill, like I was trying to say, but I had my mouth full, um, to pick up that shelf that I bought. And then um, before I came over here, before I came back over here, I went to Dollar Tree. So this would be my second Dollar Tree. <laughs> I tried to put my other video up um, before I left the house and something was going on. It wasn't working. I don't know. Anyway. It was a Dollar Tree video that I did a while back, and um, I was finally downloading them, my video. So, hold on one sec. So, anyway, like I said, just hanging out by myself today. I know my video is all over the place right now, but... So, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I'm sure y'all are pretty excited. <laughs> I know I'm pretty excited. I walked around. I went to the one in town and it was like, I always tell myself why I even go in there because it's really, it's just crappy. Like it's, there's nothing really there. So gosh, I wish I could hold this somehow so it won't fall. But I, I just can't figure out how to do my iPod. Um, it'd be perfect if it was like right here. But I know that's not going to happen. Anyway, so I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. If I can get my iPod to, um, you know, stand up. Because if I can't, and then it's totally going to just mess up everything that I want to show y'all. So hold on. Bear with me, you guys. I'm feels like I haven't done a darn video forever. So I don't even know how to work it anymore. Anyway, so let me just do my Dollar Tree video. And then I can pick up my shelf. I found some new items, you guys. Let me pick out the stuff that's just kind of boring. So, hold on. All right, let me just get this over here. Gee whiz, can't even figure this out. <laughs> so, I just got some dog, some little dog biscuits. Um, I think we have, I think we have some right now that my husband bought probably, probably from 
tractor supply or Walmart or something, but we're running out. So I figured, you know, for a dollar and it's uh, 16 ounce, you guys, that is really good. Wow. Crumbs are coming everywhere from that dog food. And then I just, I bought me a darn cup. I, I wasn't going to buy it at Dollar Tree, but I really don't have any more um, coffee cups. Um... They either break on me or they just, I've used them for a long time and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get rid of them. So I'm going to try this one out. I think I might have tried this one out before and the coffee does stay pretty hot and I could use it for water and ice. I always have water, a cup of water with ice. So I figured why not try it out? I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat it. If it doesn't work out, I'm just going to get rid of it and oh, my shirt's bothering me and I will get one at Walmart or something. Okay, and I bought some of this. I really didn't want to buy it. Um, I finally ran out of the other one. I'd rather buy um, these at, not this kind, but um, my shaving cream at Walmart. But since I was at the Dollar Tree, I said, why not try out the raspberry? The other one I had that I just finally used, this finally got done with this morning was blueberry, I think. So they work okay, but I'd rather not use this brand. But, you know, I was there um, and I needed some, so... <clears throat> okay, this is new, you guys. Um, they have the Bolero. Some new Bolero products. I didn't buy... Oh, sorry, I have ice cream in my mouth. I can... My lips. <laughs> I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff because of the fact that I still have some um, Bolero um, bath, bath bombs. I still have like four packages of the ones they sold last year. I'm, li I'm using them little by little, but I just don't want to keep getting more and then, you know, and then end up not using them. But I did buy this, you guys, and the reason I bought this is because I opened up their shower, shower gel. Um, this is a Peonies and Pear, and um, I, first of all, I love, love, love the packaging, and this is for face, skin, hair. It says, after shower or bath while skin is still damp, smooth on a few drops to help seal in moisture. Let your body dry naturally or simply pat dry with a towel. Massage three or four drops of our healing therapy oil into cleanse moist skin on the face, neck, or body, morning or night. So, yeah. I love the way this smells. Um... I found the shower gels. They had five different kind. I only bought two of them because I think I might have shower gel already at home that I've, you know, I have under my cabinets and I'm like, well, you know what? I don't want to buy more shower gel, but I don't recall. I don't, I'm guessing that I might because I always stock up on just shower gel, shampoo and all that stuff. But I figured why not give this, a, give this a chance. Uh, I'm going to try it out and it smells really good. You guys, I should have yeah, yeah, this is the one. Oh, it smells so pretty. I love it. I they didn't have any hand hand um um wash. What do you call it? Hand, gel uh, hand stuff. I don't know the stuff to wash your hands, but that's okay. So I did pick up these two from the same the same fragrance. Um, they have shampoo and they had conditioner, but I'm like I'm not even gonna try the shampoo or the conditioner because. That stuff, I know for a fact, probably is going to leave my hair really hard and stuff. I mean, a lot of shampoo leaves my hair really dried, so I don't really buy um, shampoo from the Dollar Tree and use it because it just really doesn't do any justice for my hair. Um, the next one I got was a pineapple, coconut, and lime. This is a shower gel. Um... The other one was a shower gel too, right? Gosh, I'm telling you. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I love all those three. Ugh, it smells so good, you guys. So if y'all can find it, this is what they look like. And then they had like watermelon uh, with mint. And I I think they had, this is the two. I th I'm thinking they had like three other kind or two other kind. But like I said, I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of them because, you know, I want to try these out first. I have tried out the shower gel from the Dollar Tree, and it does work really well. So, okay, what else did I find? Oh, I got one of these for our garden in the back. It says, Welcome to our patch. It's just, I didn't buy a whole bunch of different signs. Actually, they didn't have a whole bunch of different ones, but I like this one. 
It's the one with the carrots. I love it. And uh, we have a garden. Um, my husband made a garden for us in the back, way in the back where our peacocks are. And <clears throat> we planted some carrots. And we have like uh, um, bell pepper. We're trying to grow tomatoes, um, lavender, thyme, just all kinds of different things that we like to use um, and eat. So I go with an itch in my nose again. So decided to get that. I got him one of these. He loves these. He uses them on the dogs so they can, um, the laser, he plays with them. The dogs love this. So I just got him one. He told me the other day he didn't have one. It's an E-Circuit 4-in-1 stylus pen. Oh, I don't know if I showed you that. And then he had some of this the other day, and he asked um, if I had any more. I was like, no, I get it from Dollar Tree. So I was like, you know what? Since I was there, um, it's 16.5 foot. It's garden collection, and it's uh, flexible tie for plants. So I got him another one of those. Do I have crumbs all over me? Oh my gosh, I think I have crumbs all over me, you guys. It's from that ice cream. I was just gobbling it up. I bought some more of these. These are cool. They're a little thin, uh, thinner than the ones they have at Walmart. These are a little bit like, you can tell they're, you know, they're, they're a dollar because they're really thin. But we used some of these already. Actually, I think I used them all um, on our different plants so we can write down what we bought. We got those already. In the back uh, where our garden's at. I only bought one of these. It's for the hummingbirds. I think I had bought these before. My husband told me that um, the hummingbirds seem to like this one better instead of the red one that I like to buy from Walmart. But you get more ounces um, in the container. It's a really big container for like $5 at Walmart. So I just bought one of these. Um, he bought me some new... Um, hummingbird feeders that were on sale at Walmart and um, I don't have anything to put on them so I figured why not buy one of these and then put some in, in one of them. I really hung them up on my patio but I don't have anything in it so I'm pretty sure when the hummingbirds come out they're going to say you know what you can't fool us we're not going to stay here. <laughs> I did find some new candles at um, uh, Sandra's Halls she, um, these are the ones I saw in her haul, and she said they smelled really good. And I love it because of the way they look. They look like a marble uh, design. This one is Spice Tea Toddy, and it's really cute. I love it. Gosh, and let me tell you right now, it whew, smells amazing, you guys. They're not for me. I'm going to give them as a gift. This one's Warm Flannel. They only had these two. They had some different other candles um, at this Dollar Tree, but I have some, I, I really, I have a lot of little candles I've been buying from Dollar Tree um, last year and the year before that. I, I have a whole bunch in a, um, one of my blue containers, just the little shoebox containers. I have so many in there and I'm like, I'm not going to buy anymore. But um, like I said, these are not for me. So these are the two I got. <sighs> And then the last three things that I bought before I go pick up my shelf are these little critters. Um, I believe, gosh, who's, I don't know if, if, if uh, Sandra, Sandra um, Halls had this also, Dollar Tree. She does a lot of Dollar Tree. She's from Canada. I love watching her. Hi, Sandra. In case you um, check out my videos, I don't know if you do. <laughs> I think you do. Um, she's from Canada. Anyway, they look like this. And I've had one, I had one of these with those little eyes um, from Christmas. I only found one Santa Claus. And they actually do light up, you guys. So I found this one. And then there's the, the little, the solar in the back. I'm going to put these by my pond. I thought they're super cute. Oh my gosh. They only have three designs. Um, three designs. Three different critters. The little owl. I wish they had more designs. Or I mean, ugh, why do I keep saying designs? more um critters but they didn't and then this one's so cute look how cute i mean they're all cute but seriously the squirrel and it has an on and off button back there i hope they work well the little button in the back looks like I don't know how that button has anything to do with it because it doesn't seem to. I mean, it moves, but it doesn't like stay on on and off. I don't. So maybe you just push it and oh, I don't have. I have no idea. I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. 
but I did. And of course, there's some. Anyway, I got three of them. Uh, just be careful. Some of them are chipped on the little tips on the corners, and but I mean you can't beat them. I didn't even can't beat them. You can't beat it for a dollar. I didn't even notice that the girl didn't wrap them individually. Well, that's not good. So, but that is my haul, you guys. I know I was all over the place when I started, but I got it together. <laughs> I'm going to get my shelf now. Um, actually, did I say I was parked at Goodwill? Eh, I might have said that. Anyway, I'm parked at Goodwill. And I am going to get my shelf. This is not cool because I'm trying to get this stuff in here and I don't want these candles to mess up. Anyway, um, so I'm going to back up and go get my shelf and then I might just go back in there and check it out because, oh, she Wallace, because um, this guy came out with, you know me, being all nosy when people walk out with their Goodwill stuff, he came out with, um, it's a... It's a workout ball, but it's, it's, you put it flat. It's flat, like, like a cone. It's flat and then, not a cone. It's flat and then it's like a dome shape. And, um, he came out with that. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm gonna, I might go back in there. I did see something else I wanted to pick up. I don't know if it's still going to be there because, um, you know, they pick up the stuff pretty fast. But let me let you go, you guys. I'm going to back up gonna park get my stuff and I'm gonna go back into Goodwill so if I find anything else I'll let you know all right all right I'll have to talk to you later bye